Uh, so I'm Wes Liep, one of the fellows at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. <clears throat> and I'm, we're very excited to be presenting the results of uh, our neoadjuvant chemotherapy trial for high-risk upper tract epithelial carcinoma. And so we took on this trial because uh, upper tract epithelial carcinoma um, has very poor prognosis, and so there's a lot of attempts made at improving outcomes with perioperative chemotherapy. So there's adjuvant chemotherapy. As we've seen in the PAUT trial, uh, there's been improvements in disease-free survival with adjuvant chemotherapy, but a minority of patients are eligible for cisplatin-based chemotherapy after nephroureterectomy. So we want to look at the neoadjuvant setting. So we enrolled patients with high-risk upper tract disease. This is defined by a high-grade disease on biopsy or invasive disease on imaging and positive selective cytology. They then underwent um, four cycles of split-dose gemcitabine cisplatin, and that was over 12 weeks, followed by extirpative surgery and a templated lymph node dissection. We ended up uh, accruing about 58 patients. Uh, 57 were valuable for the primary endpoint, and that was pathologic response. So we defined that as less than PT2 disease. We also took complete response, which was T0 disease, and then time to disease progression, overall survival, and safety and tolerability. So the final outcome of our study um, was very encouraging. We met the primary endpoint. The pathologic response rate was 63%, and the complete response rate was 19%. And also for survival outcomes, uh, we found improvements in two and five year progression free and overall survival in this cohort of patients getting new adjuvant chemotherapy. One of the significant things we found, though, is that when we stratified the responses, um, when we looked at those with pathologic response compared to those without any response, so less than T2, those patients had significantly improved progression-free and overall survival compared to those that uh, were T2 or greater. <clears throat> and overall, uh, all the patients tolerated chemotherapy very well. Nearly 90% had at least three cycles of chemotherapy, and most had three and a half or four. All patients were able to go through surgery, um, and there wasn't really any increase in perioperative complications.